All right, so in the last video, I showed you how to scrape websites that have pop ads ad code on them, and then also get the site ID associated with that website. So you can actually take that site ID and then advertise on pop ads. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take that list and grab a little bit more data about the website to actually pre-qualify the website to even before you even start sending or buying traffic from it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is I use a tool called Sublime, you can use any text editor, is to re replace this pipe with a comma. So what you do is you use uh, find and replace. And so you just put find with pipe and replace with comma. So it replaces the pipe with the comma, go ahead and press replace all. And now we're gonna go ahead and save this as a CSV. So we'll say tutorial or just tut CSV and then go ahead and save. And the reason we're doing this is so we can go ahead and open it with Excel now. So now you can see that we can open it with Excel and as opposed to just having pipes, it's actually comma separated. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and clean this up a bit by moving this down. As you can tell, I'm very good at Excel. It's one of my best features. Okay, so now we just put in site and we'll put in site ID. Or just put in URL here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the very first site right here and get the first 200 results. Go ahead and click copy here. And the tool I'm using for this is called Ahrefs. And so what I'm using is the batch analysis tool. And uh, the account level that I have only allows me to do 200 URLs at a time, and that's why I'm doing it 200 at a time. So you just paste in the URLs, allow it to analyze those URLs. Sometimes it's pretty quick, a little bit. Other times it takes uh, some time. So basically what we're doing is it's doing an entire SEO audit on these sites. Basically it'll get you the a URL rating and social metrics and stuff like that. And as you can see, now we can export this. Go ahead and open this as well. And now we'll go ahead and grab the data all the way to this rating right here click copy and then paste it over here. So now we'll scroll down and we'll grab the batch of the next 200 sites. And do it one more time. And the reason we're doing this is because it'll give us a good indication of you know social shares on the actual site and their URL rating and what we're going to do is after this batch finishes we're going to sort by URL rating and the URL rating means generally that they have a higher SEO value and so the higher their SEO value we can then check those sites to see what their overall quality is which we'll do next. So we'll go ahead and open up this analysis report now. Go ahead and go to the ratings. Copy go back over to this one and paste. So now what we're going to do is go back up to the top here and click on filter and then do descending. So now we have these euro ratings that are very high up at the top. So now we're going to go into a tool called similar web and what similar web allows us to do is actually check how much volume the website's getting and also where the traffic is coming from. So because this URL rating is higher, generally it indicates that it's getting more traffic from search because its overall rating is higher. So if we go ahead and go to it, we can take a look at it and we can see that it has 660 visits, 660,000 visits a month, 50% of it's from United States, got some Canada traffic, so you can also see the country breakdown. And then as you can see, 50% of the traffic comes from search, 
23 from referral and then 18 direct so that's pretty standard and a quality site and then you can actually see which terms it ranks for and then even actually search for them to verify so for example if I were to search for it obviously project free TV is the website so it would rank for it right here but it also ranks for watch Game of Thrones online and stuff like that so it would be perfect to advertise a movie offer on this website and it would be quality traffic because it's all coming from SEO or the majority of it's coming from SEO so we'll do one more uh, but we'll go we'll actually reverse this so we'll actually put the lowest rating up at the top here so we'll check out unblock bay and as you can see it has a zero rating zero shares the traffic has really died off as opposed to going up but it still does have 95,000 searches and the majority of it is from the UK however as you notice the search volume because the URL rating is zero it's basically not ranking at all and so all that traffic is actually from referrals and direct so the problem with that is is referral traffic can be from anything so they can literally be buying pop ads or you know pop unders redirect traffic and sending that to the site and then reselling it to you on a CPM so you'd be losing money basically while on the flip side if this traffic had the majority of search it'd be a higher quality site and therefore generally the site would convert better so basically by doing this research we have already saved ourselves a ton of money because all we have to do is advertise only on sites you know maybe 10 at a time in groups that we have verified that are already quality traffic because testing 10 sites at a time that have a lot of volume that actually have a lot of search volume and then becoming the number one bidder is a lot better strategy than you know being bidder number 100 with thousands and thousands of sites only getting one click or one pop under from each site it would take you forever to actually optimize that campaign while with a campaign that you only have 10 different sites sending you that much traffic it's a lot easier to see what ones are winning and actually optimize your campaigns much quicker so that's that's pretty much it there's also a lot more you can do a scrape box you know you can one of my buddies just let me know that he was using scrape box with the uh, I believe he said the who is scraper and he was actually finding which countries the the domains were part of and so he was using that data to see which country he should be advertising with that website so for example dot it is obviously Italy and so chances are the more the majority of the traffic would be in Italy but apparently that's not always the case and as you can see, number 11 down here, the URL rating is a lot less. Just because the URL rating is this high doesn't generally mean that the majority of its traffic is from search. But if you look, it has a lot of traffic. And so, you know, that the URL, the URL rating still correlates with the amount of traffic and, and the amount of search that they're getting. So just be sure to go through each one of these, take some, you know, Similar web's free, just go through each one, take a look at the demographics of the site. Sometimes, for example, I could have a campaign that I set up that is only on this site specifically because it has so much volume and I'd very quickly know if it works or not. And if we actually go to the website, we can see that it appears to be a movie site. So once again, I would advertise download offers, you know, movie offers, you know, Netflix, stuff like that would also do well. Video converters, all those types of things, all those types of offers would do very well on this site. So knowing all that ahead of time before even running, it's a win-win.